Okay, finally, um, in the last uh, video, what we had a look at was um, how we actually collaborate or get students to actually collaborate on work. If you remember, what we did is we actually have a, a test one on here. I had two screens split up, and what we were doing was working within this revision one, and we were looking at this revision group particular piece of slideshow that I was simulating a student working on. Now, obviously, the great thing about this is that they allows you to collaborate on individual bits of work. But obviously, what is to stop one student from doing loads and loads of work and then another student coming in at a later date and messing it up or deliberately defacing it? Obviously, that would be an absolutely terrible thing. It would mean that giving them access to work, some students that may not be completely um, trustworthy might actually delete or damage or alter other people's work. How would you find out? Well, luckily enough, as I mentioned at the end of the last video, um, it does actually give you the opportunity to see the revision history of it. Now, it's not straight away evident on here, but if you click on the actual group and you actually load it up and say there's something on here that you're not quite sure about, or as a teacher you wanted to see when a student went in and then what they actually did to see what individuals have done. Great way of actually doing it, because what you can do if you come down here, you can come under File, you can see the revision history, or as it says there, Control, Alt, Shift, and G. And what you can then see is exactly what went on. And we can even go on, show more detailed, and see exactly what went on. We can see all the different bits and pieces, and exactly when that happened. So you can see at the moment it's uh, 6.05 going onwards, and you can see right the way through, and it will show exactly what went on. So M. Sutton created it. We then had just in here as well. I chose the background. I then put in the title. I then added a new slide. Then the student came in and was actually viewing at the same time. Didn't seem to do a great deal. And started to add bits and pieces into it. And we can see that on the slide too, what they were doing. So if I go back to this one, you can see what individual p people were doing. So here, green is M sudden. So I was obviously doing that. The student was doing that particular one. So anything that is swiped in their particular color is what they actually did and at what time. Now, the beauty of this is it allows you to actually see exactly how particular people collaborated, what they actually did, and how they actually interacted with it. And that means that you could actually do different bits and pieces and actually share it with them. So anything that you can share with them, anything that they've done on here, they can actually see, they can collaborate, they can do bits and pieces on. And it means that you've got a complete track of which students do what, how much they've actually contributed to that group. I would say what's really, really nice, especially the first time you use it with students, is don't tell them about this feature. Just leave it, because you'll always end up with somebody doing something which is silly. Use that as an example of the power that you have. And it's also a very good lesson to them about how their actions are constantly monitored in the world in which we live in. Because every single moment, every single time this is uploaded, Google, uh, Google and Google Drive is constantly keeping a track of who's doing what and where. And obviously, if it's multiple people in this particular one, you can also see the time. One of the joys that you can have is, as a teacher, um, I remember one particular student, he was professed that he'd done loads and loads of work. But what I could see, very simply, and I shared with him and the rest of the group, was that he actually got logged on at about half past seven in the morning, bearing in mind it was about half eight when he was at school, and had done very, very little that morning, logging in and just adding a few bits and pieces. And then he managed to try to take complete and utter um, well, credence for the everything that had been done by the rest of the group, and it was quite clear why he'd contributed. So that's the collaboration feature, and it's a very, very powerful feature. Generally, as a whole, Google Drive has some wonderful things that you can link to it. Because Google also owns YouTube, it allows you to put and link in videos and audio and many, many other bits and pieces. It's well worth having a look at, and in some ways, it can be a lot better than your school servers or your school um, access pages as well.